Hello, in this video, I am going to cover the scanf function with you. So the scanf function is like the opposite of the printf function, and it allows you to get input from the user in your sort of console terminal, command prompt, whatever it is, from a you know terminal system. The printf function, which I've already covered, allows you to print data out. You probably use scanf in conjunction with printf because you'll probably ask the user what they want via printf and then you'll get it via scanf both functions require you to do hash include stdio.h and now in here let's do a quick printf i was gonna say enter your age that's it and now we'll need a variable to actually store the data in so that is a requirement for scanf so we'll put int age semicolon and to do scanf you need to put scanf open close parentheses inside there you put quotation marks you specify the type of data you are expecting so percent i for me and i will provide a link in the description to this website from program is program is com but if you scroll because you know by default you'll be at the top but if you scroll all the way down and go to format specifiers for io input output these are the format specifiers so if you want int you can do d but you can do percent i as well to be fair and you know if you want a double or a float which is decimals you can do percent f or percent lf which is like a long float essentially so this provides all of that information for you then to actually next you have to specify where you store in it so after the quotation marks put a comma and you put age but you need to put a ampersand this basically is a reference this is saying store it in this particular area you know location in memory so we are referencing a particular variable so it's it might look a bit confusing and it's easy to omit it and you, that will cause problems but you'll become a bit clearer when we look at references and pointers later in this series so save that uh, actually let's print it off as well so you know we know it's correct your age is then we'll percent i and then for the printf you don't need to put a reference that's only for scanf so if i save it run it and it says ask for my age i'm 29 click enter your age is 29 so that's read that correctly so let me show you an one other thing that you can do with scanf so let's create a, a character array again i'll have separate videos covering character arrays so feel free to check them out this is on the assumption that you know that or that you can just sort of ignore that aspect of it for now i'm gonna call this name i'm gonna put a length of 10 semicolon and now we're going to get the name of the user so it's a printf and we're going to put a backslash n just to format it a bit two backslash n's and we'll say enter your name then we're going to do a scanf percent also for this is percent s and you can go to Send tests and remember no shame in going to a website like this and just you know having a look at what we need to do doesn't actually show you on this one but it is percent f i assure you because percent c is just a single character we have an array of characters which is essentially a string because a string is just a bunch of characters comma and this is the interesting one with an array because it's essentially already a reference to an area in memory so char name is basically a reference to an area of memory 10 spaces long or however you know big a char is 10 of those you know 10 times that so you don't actually have to put i mean that you just put name as is and print f and we're going to say your name is oops and f name let's give it a run run it so it's asking for the age we've already tested that for 67 name i'm gonna put for han there we go okay so 
what would happen if I was to put, let's say, that's more than 10 characters long, though, well, that's like 14, and it prints out. So you might be thinking, okay, uh, sorry, that was age, sorry. So, yeah, it prints out. You might be thinking, okay, seems all right. So what's this for? Well, this is saying that we've got 10, you know, what, you know, however, uh, da, 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 we can actually check. Uh, so if we just say, I'm pretty sure it's a byte per character. Let me just check. Uh, size of a character in C. Pretty sure it's one byte. Yeah, one byte. So this line is saying in memory, there are 10 bytes that have been reserved for the name variable. Guaranteed. That's guaranteed, that is. Because I've got a fair bit of memory, and on top of that, I've got you know plenty free. So if we go to performance, I've got 32 gig of RAM in total, and I've got what like 12 over 12 gig left. So I've got plenty of memory. So it, it's basically overflowing, but because I've got so much memory free, it's not really causing any issues. You don't know what's going to be, you don't know where these 10 bytes have been stored in memory. It might be sandwiched between two other things. There might be something else afterwards that's already reserved and you'll overwrite that. So you've got to be careful of that. So what you can do is in between the percent and the F, you can put the number 10 and this will allow us to only get 10 characters. So if I run that now and I type, uh, I save that one. I type in 45 age, we're not caring about that at the moment. Frahan Hussein, click enter. It only says Frahan Hus, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The rest of the characters is got rid of. So, this is a great thing to do if you know that your, say, your array for your name, you probably have it longer than that. It might be a 128, for example, or whatever it is. But if you know there is a limit, then you'll only get that many characters. So that's the other thing you can do, scan F as well. So that's really it for scan F. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.